Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today's reading will be a general reading. This is the theme for the reading brought to you by the Sacred Destiny Oracle Card Deck. We will do a tarot reading after this and then we'll close it off with the angel answers. Before we begin, I do want to address some comments that have been made about not seeing my channel anymore. And that happens periodically. Even when you subscribe, YouTube likes to see some interaction. So if you hit the like button or even drop an uh, emoji into the comments, then they'll start, they'll keep showing it to you in your algorithm. Otherwise, they like to mix it up and start introducing all kinds of new uh, content for you. So anyway, if, you, if you've if you been finding that it's disappearing, that might help. So let us begin. All right, you have the card of Voyage. Okay, the card of Voyage. So that can be on... Uh, symbolic level. It can be on a practical le level if you're taking a trip or moving. Let's see now. We'll consult the tarot and see what else you need to know here. All right. What advice? Whoa. Do you, we're going to keep those. Do you have four Virgo, please? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Virgo need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Virgo? Yeah, that was wild, wasn't it? I don't have a lot of jumping cards, so when I do, it always kind of gets me intrigued. All right, you have the King of Pentacles, you and your own energy, the Hanged Man, the Two of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Six of Cups. I like that with and the world. I always love it when the world pops up. Let's see who came out to join us with these guys. Well, this is interesting. You know, you have these are like such paradoxical, diametrically opposed energies. The chariot, wearing the world like a loose-fitting garment. I'm sorry, not the chariot. Why did I say that? Temperance, wear the world like a loose-fitting garment with the Eight of Swords being literally bound. Okay, and so it's the, the Eight of Swords is a, a oftentimes too much thinking card or it's too many people in the mix. And so I do feel like, especially with the energy of temperance, I feel like they're almost telling you that because you have this too. There's something about these two together, not seeing something, changing your perspective. You have it here as well, okay, with the hangman, this idea of changing your perspective and that illumination that appears on the crown. So if you say, I'm trying to be open-minded, but they just keep giving me dog crap, it's hard for me to get open-minded when this is what they're dishing up. I feel like with this, it's like, be, be easy about things. Be free if you can. Be light about things. Step away from it. Take a break as needed. But I'll tell you what. We'll get back to her in a minute. I sure do like these. Okay, when you see this kind of stuff showing up in your reading, it is wonderful. It talk about an evolution. There's something about this that brings you to the next level. Now, if it's a love relationship, I feel like you've never been treated better. Okay, and if you're saying, no, that's that's not me at all, I'm being treated terribly, then there's somebody else coming in here. This is the kind of energy where you can let your whole guard down. You don't have to, I mean, I keep hearing, show me, don't tell me. This is someone who will show you, not just tell you, because words are nice, right? They're fine, but it's different when you can see in the day-to-day, -day. and you know, you know how you feel around somebody. When you, you feel like, well, I wonder what they're doing on the phone in the middle of the night, what in the... In the God's name are they looking at? That sort of thing. But I also feel like, too, if there's a job situation, I feel like somebody here has a new opportunity with the Three of Wands, King of Pentacles, that brings in a lot of stability. I also feel like, too, there may be some little bits of money that keeps showing up through work, like, hey, we got funding from here and you're getting money for this, that sort of thing. But with this, okay, the, the answer to this, you've got water here. You notice that? Okay, this watery energy, meditate, quiet the mind, ask. Okay, be in the place too of knowing, really feeling it. Because I feel like that energy of the voyage, it really is about taking a leap of faith and moving forward. So we have Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus is here. Um, I mentioned we have three major arcana, the Archangel Michael. He helps out with all kinds of repair. If it's of the mind, if it's of the career, the uh, King of Pentacles though, is an increase. This is abundance and prosperity. There's nothing to worry about with the King of Pentacles. So if you do have a new job, it may be somebody who's a King of Pentacles who will be helping you out. The King of Pentacles loves to share information and he doesn't do it. It can be male or female. 
He doesn't do it to prop himself up. He does it because he knows people need a leg up. People need help like he once did. He wasn't always a king. He used to be a page at some point. And so when the King of Pentacles shows up, know that it's also stability in all areas of your life. There's a quiet leadership, a quiet humility about this energy. And so I feel like if you have somebody who's training you or leading you, that's how they come across. Now, if it's you and this is really your energy, people are going to love you. You're going to get feedback where people are going to say, you help me in a way that nobody else has. You help me, if it's, especially if it's career, you help me build my career, get me started in a way that I can't, can't thank you enough. I just feel like there's something about this that's so gracious. It's the kind of energy when somebody does this, you know they do it just because they want to do it. They're not looking for accolades. They're not trying to get their name, although you've got accolades here. Okay, when we start to talk about work too. I also feel like too, if you deal with the public, you're going to have a lot of positive feedback about you. And so with this, just know that it's coming. Know that it's here for you. This hangman energy, I mentioned before, if there's something around you that feels like it's keeping you stuck, you know, if there's something that, especially with the eight of swords, two of swords that caught in the middle, here's your, your antidote to it allowing you to let go of something because he's free and easy. He hangs by his foot. So yeah, there can be a bit of a delay if there's been something holding you up, but he's not desperate. He's not reaching up trying to grab the wooden beam. You know, he's not saying, oh my God, I'm going to die if I'm staying here. He's like, no, I can, I can just hang out here for a while. You know what? I actually like how things look from this angle. You know what? Actually, that's working out just fine. Okay. That's the kind of energy this is. That energy of let it go and let it flow is all over the reading. And so I feel like they're just trying to give somebody here encouragement. Now, I also get too, though, if you are the one that's got some kind of a, a literal voyage, you're going on a cruise or vacation, I feel like there may be some adjustments here or there to the itinerary. And I know that's tough to hear if you're like, no, I'm out of a job, silly. Um, but I do feel like for somebody, those uh, that sort of just being easy about stuff is really going to serve you. Not needing to prove anything, just saying, you know, if that works out great, if it doesn't, Let's have a plan B, but we're going to be easy about it, whatever it is. Because that Two of Swords leaves you pretty confounded. And this Two of Swords is a difficult position because she really can't get up easily. Not with those swords in that position. She'd have to have a some kind of a contraption to help her up or a person to help her up. And so with this, if it's somebody too around you, I feel like you may lead by example where they're going to say, how can you just adjust like this? It's so hard for me. I feel like they're going to see your energy and it's really going to help them. I just keep getting this feeling of you helping out other people where they say you're a really cool person. And there's something about your energy because it's so thorough and like you, you listen, but you got a, a feeling where people can trust you. I feel like you may have somebody who's like this too. So if you work in something like insurance or something where people's rates are going up, I feel like you may be somebody who can find some kind of a solution. There's something about your energy where I feel like people find it to be a solution. So with this Page of Cups, so we haven't really talked much about love, have we? This Page of Cups is such a wonderful offering. Okay, it's actually an offering of good luck, by the way. It's almost like the universe saying, here, did you want some good luck? Let me give you a cup of luck here. And so when you see this as offering it, it's it's really saying that things are going to move forward well there's something tangible here and so with this page of cups too he's also very generous with the praise if it's a new love relationship then i do feel like it's someone who's going to be very flirty and romantic but it, they mean it okay this is a card too of intuition so also too, you may find that your intuition is right on about people so that when you really connect with someone and you feel good about being around them, it's the real deal. It's not just, it's not just a figment of your imagination. It's somebody who comes forward. This is optimism. It's a new feeling that comes in, a new energy. I also feel like too, it's somebody who has a bit of curiosity about the world. They keep an open mind and I feel like they, they, this, in terms of a love relationship I'm talking about, it's somebody who stays teachable. They like to learn new things. They like to understand new things, new cultures, new people, new places, new things. And they have a, they keep a sense of humor about how they go through life. So I mentioned before with the six of wands, their eyes are on you totally. Hard eye emojis, here you come. And so I feel like with this, they definitely respect you. And they see what you do in other people's lives. And that's meaningful to them. And so if you've had people before that kind of put you down for that or said, well, you just, you're too involved in this or that, 
and they kind of took your inventory and it's something important to you, I feel like the people around you are not only going to see that, recognize it, but they're going to be a bit enthralled by it. Like, wow, this is somebody who really is a team player. This is somebody who loves deeply, who cares about other people and who shows it. And so with the three of wands here, it's time to move. It's time to make some action. Take some action. I heard make some noise, I guess. Um, but with this three of wands, okay, it really is realizing that the journey has just begun. So if it's a new relationship, that voyage is indicated here too, that it's going to be special, meaningful, and something that carries you through a lot of different phases in your life in a meaningful way. Um, but it's time to choose a path, okay? So I do feel like with this, it's time to take some action and move forward. The Six of Cups says you're going to be feeling secure when you do it. The Six of Cups, like I said before, it is a card of safety. It is a card of people helping you out, feeling like you're part of a community and feeling the love too. And all the littlest day-to-day -day stuff, all that meaningful stuff, last but absolutely never least. Here's where you find during this time, it feels like it's perfect, the perfect moment and time. This is a yes card. This is an everything card. It is a card of travel and moving too, but it's saying it's happening. This is pure bliss. It's being on top of the world. That's what this is all about. So whatever you're asking about, I do feel like with the world being here, know that it's yours. All right. So let's see now, Virgo, what else you need to know. All right, messages, please, for Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know? Improving health, so mind, body, spirit, on the mend and on the uptake. Helpful people, they say. So we saw that in the tarot, and you've got remain positive. So I definitely feel like your cycle is going to be pure of heart, I hear. They say a year from now, don't panic. It doesn't mean nothing is going to happen. You get back to me in a year from now and you tell me how good things are. You have a yes, all right? Great things are on the way for you, Virgo. I love you and I'll be back again soon.